rate my setup. So this is my tablet, uh, the eight inch A something Galaxy, I forget, I'll put it in the video because I don't remember the name. Maybe it says in here. So this is my custom launcher, it's called Lynx Launcher. If you haven't tried it out for Android, I definitely recommend it to get it to focus. Um, whatever, it's called Lynx Launcher. So in here, it's got all the settings like you would expect to see like normal, but the system itself is, you know, like the layout is very different. You can see here, it's got, uh, if you scroll either with your finger or you can, like right now I'm using uh, a mouse over here. So I have a mouse connected through this whole hub deal I've got back here. So this hub's got three type A's. Uh, a type C which right now is being occupied for power but um, power delivery I should say so it's it's got this red one here is the charging cord and that goes into this box and then that runs power and data through this type uh, C cable this has an H full-size HDMI HDMI port on the back if I get the lighting right and right now I have a one terabyte drive, uh, 2.5 SATA 6, so that's good for about 600 megabytes a second. Um, where was I going with this? Kind of randomly talking about stuff, so. Damn, I can't get the saturation right. And of course somebody's trying to call me right now. Anyway, uh... So if you scroll to the left, you'll get this menu, which is, hold on, this is really annoying me. I'm going to turn the brightness down because the saturation looks terrible. Like the screen actually looks pretty decent and I cannot get it to, it's like way oversaturating for some reason. What the hell? Like I had it perfect a second ago. Anyway, we'll continue. Uh, so it's got this whole menu here, the apps you can push to the side like that, so you can just shove them somewhere off of the screen, sort of. Not quite minimized, which I wish they would let you minimize this app. The only way to minimize it is if you t disable picture-in-picture -picture completely. And not really, I don't know, I, I usually just shove them to the side, the apps. So then on the main screen I have a live wallpaper via, what is the app I'm using? This one, Video Wallpaper, which is a free app that lets you use videos locally or you can download them of course, but uh, I just download my own videos and use them locally for a background. That's a nice loop I found, real smooth. Anyway, all the apps are in here. You can jump directly to a letter like X, for example, or you can click on C, it'll go directly to whatever C. So that's a lot faster automatically than um, the, the launcher that comes with these Android devices. So in here, you can put all your widgets. You can put widgets on the main, uh, what do you want to call it? The main uh, desktop. But I like to put them below the normal desktop, so it's almost like an extra desktop below the normal desktop. Uh, you scroll to the right, or swipe right, you'll get another menu, which is your commonly used applications. And then back to here, you have uh, a launcher bar on the left-hand side. This can be moved left, right. I want to say left, right, and bottom. Let's see. If you do a long press, you'll get a menu for the desktop. So we could go to settings. There's a bunch of settings in here for the customizing the launcher. That again, that's Lynx launcher. So you can customize all the different settings in here. Some of which have to do with appearance. Let's see. Home screen. So yeah, you can change. I don't have any icons on the desktop, but you could have icons on the desktop if you wanted to. So like grab calculator and I'm gonna just put it over here just like you would on like a Windows device or, or Linux or something. Uh, I don't really want that on here, so I'm gonna do long press and then remove. So it's the same, it's kinda like a right click on desktop, long press on left click if you're using a mouse, 
and then go to, uh, you can add widgets here to the main desktop which I'm not gonna do but all these different widgets so it really kind of feels because I use Linux uh, Manjaro on my laptop all the time and it does feel very similar to using a device like uh, or a device in an operating system like uh, like a Linux based one of course they're cousins right and this actually works really smooth especially since I'm using a high quality mouse like it feels really good even though that it's a 8 inch screen like I actually don't mind this is 720p as well this is not full HD and I wouldn't really notice especially from a couple feet away I wouldn't be able to tell you it wasn't 1080 so it does pretty well it's got 3 gigabytes of RAM actually I think it's I don't even think it's 3 it's like 2 and then it shares some of the storage for RAM like one extra gigabyte so it shows 3 in any case uh, it does well for being such a low power device of course it could be faster I wouldn't throw anything I wouldn't even throw Excel at this because it just falls on its face with the like I have an office program on here and it just doesn't really like it works uh, I'm not gonna open that actually because it might have work stuff on it but you get my point just switching from one cell to another is painful for some reason I don't understand why it's able to It'll, it'll run 1080p is, uh, without any issue, even though it's a 720 screen, it'll upscale if you put a video on, let's see. Uh, let's do like, font, music, and if it'll come up, there's a, an HD, they have a lot of videos with cars, these font videos. So they're good for just ambience or background sort of stuff. Let me see if this has a 1080, let's see right now it's in 720, let's see if we can go higher, 1080p. And it's gonna render this in 1080p without any issue. And you can definitely, it, it gets sharper, like the image gets way sharper if you're in person. So it upscales nice and it plays it back, it'll play back 60 frames without issue. Wow, this is actually a better video to kind of show off what I'm talking about. So let's put it in 1080p. It always starts in, so it'll stop at 720 even though I tell it to use highest so I have to go in here and tell it yeah you can see it get crisp like it tightens up the image real nice so a little bit of lag there because I've seen this video it doesn't do that but it's probably just buffering or whatever not anyway yeah it works it works surprisingly well So yeah, it does 1080p, no issue, and you're still able to go do something else. I don't know what else you would do, because like I said, it doesn't have a lot of RAM, but if you wanted to go look up something on the device, like sometimes maybe I'll have a video going, and I can do other things. What does it say? Select no. Okay, anyway, let me show off the system right quick. And here I've got 32 internal storage, which kind of sucks because it's immediately full. But it does allow for up to one terabyte internal storage. And then I've got this, like I I got this USB hub stuck on the back of there with a one terabyte, uh, what do you call it, 2.5, the SATA 6. So that's showing right there. I've got almost showing one terabyte. And so, I don't know, it definitely functions like a very small computer. And then I've got a 60% keyboard stuck here. And this was $20, and it's actually really nice. I actually love this keyboard for $20. Anyway, I'll go ahead and end the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to leave them below.